Alright guys, I thought I'd come here and make a tutorial on how to tie uh, one of my favorite flies. One of my favorite dry flies are going to try to tie the version that I like of the elk hair caddis. It's a little bit of a, a little bit, it's not your typical elk hair caddis. It's kind of like a version I've made and I fished with on this channel. You've seen me catch some fish with it. It's worked for me. I like it. This is a size 12 hook. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big size. Uh, I, just, I did a bigger size so that hopefully, whoop, hopefully you guys could see it. And I think you guys will be able to see it. So I'm going to start out. I have some rusty brown string. You can also use black, but I like the rusty brown for this. I'm just going to start out my string on the hook here. Oh. Go ahead and cut off the end there. And now I'm just going to evenly wrap nice and easy down all the way to the bottom of the fly. Now that I'm near the bottom, I'm going to get some dubbing for the body of my fly. And the dubbing I like recently, kind of the spring or the winter, the dubbing I like is called, it's called honey cream. It's pretty, it's like whitish. Let's see here. It's like whitish, kind of like, it's pretty, kind of like silvery, kind of white, kind of tan. It changes colors a little bit when it gets in the water. It gets a little bit darker, but... I really like it and the fish seem to be biting on it so you know the most important part there is the fish like it so I'm just going to dub it up on my string you guys can't see but basically I just I get that dubbing into kind of like kind of look like it could go onto a string this is probably too much let's get it down and then I s twist it between the string and my fingers spinning it with like a motion like this and that gets it stuck on the string really well. Once it's incorporated in the string, I'm gonna put it right on. I'm gonna wrap it up. Along my hook here. Then kind of halfway through I like to Make sure things are staying tight. Re spindle the hook a little bit. Like that. I like to wrap all the way to the end. Once I get to the end, do it one last time. Making sure it's tight. I'm actually gonna pinch off and pull off that extra dubbing so we don't need that we don't want the, the head to get too big now the important part here is for the elk caddis you use uh animal hair stiff animal hair in this case i'm using deer hair because that's what i have and it seems to work pretty well and i've put some deer hair into my stacker make sure all the ends are the same length everything lines up and this part's pretty hard you're going to want to lay down you're going to get all your hair trim the ends you're going to lay it down, and it's going to be like the hackle. It's going to, once you tie it in, it's all going to fluff up to make kind of like a hackle type of thing. So, let's see if I can pull this off. I think I might have gotten maybe a little bit too much hair. But first step is to grab it tight so that your stacker, you don't mess up the nice job that that stacker did for you. I'm cutting it over a garbage can, so your hair pieces don't go everywhere and now you can see I've cut it so all the ends are pretty equal and down here all those ends are pretty equal I'm grabbing it tight still keeping it really tight and we're gonna lay it down on the top but look how much that is that's too much so I'm gonna pinch and grab out of my fingers a section and I'm gonna check again Maybe still a little bit too much. And then you just keep on judging it like that. And then now once you found about the right amount, you think. You make sure everything's tidy and nice. And then you lay it down. 
and I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go a loose. I start loose and then I pull it tight and it fans up that head. You see? It fans it up and then out the back you have the hair sticking out like that. Now, if you wanted to lay it down more, you just do another wrap. Not a super tight one, more of a loose wrap. It should get the hair to lay down better. Now it kind of looks, I don't know what the fish think it is, it kind of looks like, looks like a caddis, it could be a grasshopper. And the last thing I like to do is like to make sure that this hair gets accustomed to kind of coming back and then I'll also trim it a little bit. Ooh. Now I'm, I'm going to whip finish it real quick. I have a whip finish tool because I'm lazy. I'm not good at doing things by hand like that. I'll make a whip finish how to video later, probably. And it's pretty sloppy, and it's not how I would really want it, but you guys get the general idea. It looks pretty good. Um, since Considering I'm pretty new to fly tying, if you guys have any tips, let me know. And hopefully, I'll continue with the fly tying content. And there we have it. This is our finished product. After a whole lot of trimming, I trimmed up the head a lot. I got it so that there's not very many fibers on the bottom. All the fibers go up, and that's the finished product. Looks pretty good. Definitely going to try to catch a fish on that.